In life, you're always going to make mistakes. The most important part is how you handle it after. But I pray you never make a mistake as big as I did when it came to the moist meter for Morbius. I gave Morbius a shockingly low 15%. And I think it's because I just didn't understand the movie at the time. There's really a lot of themes and subtle vicissitudes with the film that a lot of laymen just might not get on the first watch, which is why today I revisited the film and now I really understand why this has become the highest grossing movie of all time. My third eye has truly been opened and Dr. Michael Morbius has entered my body like the Holy Spirit and shown me the light. I have been morbed. I see how wrong I was with my initial grading of the film and if I could go back and change it now, I wouldn't give it a 15%, I'd give it a 15,000%. I still lie awake at night with cold sweats remembering that 15% that I gave this film. Probably the biggest crime I've ever committed in the most embarrassing, shameful moment of my life, and absolutely my biggest regret. If I won the lottery today and then lost the ticket, my biggest regret would still be giving Morbius a 15%. And I just want to deeply apologize to all the mega morbers out there. You deserved a better review, and I just didn't provide. But today I'm correcting that mistake, and I'm going to talk about why I think this film is so powerful and just important in general. I would honestly argue that the creation of the Morbius film is just as important as the discovery and use of penicillin in our society. It just completely changed the game for us. It's more than a movie. It's a Morbi that's not afraid to challenge the audience and make them reflect on their own lives and teach us that anything is possible and to confront your hardships with the utmost Morbius attitude. You see, in the film, Dr. Michael Morbius was dealt a bad hand in life. He was afflicted with a disease that didn't allow him to morb. But thanks to his intellect and his no-quit, can-do attitude, he was able to develop a remedy and God damn it, he started morbing. When I first saw the beautiful scene, I didn't really grasp the magnitude of the situation. I was pretty much alone in the movie theater, and I think that's because people fear what they don't understand. And Morbius is a movie that will drag you kicking and screaming into the light and show you things that maybe you're just not ready for. You know, watching Morbius is a lot like taking bath salts, except it gives you permanent superpowers and the feeling lasts forever. You become a changed person, an improved, evolved human being, upon finishing the Morbius film. Now, the scene when he begins morbing, I think, is one that will stand the test of time, and we'll look back on generations from now as the lightning rod that showed us what we're capable of. When I rewatched the film today and he started his first morb, I couldn't help but pump my fist and just cheer him on with tears in my eyes. It was just so good. I was more emotional watching that scene than I was when I lost my virginity. It's something that is an indescribable euphoria. Now, I'm sure you've seen at least a few Morbius memes, but I'd like to share with you what I believe to be the best one. This is, The Devil Shivers When a Clown Starts Morbing. This, of course, references Jared Leto's iconic performance as the Joker in the Suicide Squad movie, while also showcasing his talent with the Morbius film. I would say, though, that Jared Leto does not portray Morbius. Morbius himself used Jared Leto like a fucking fleshlight in order to tell his story on the screen. We're not watching an actor. We're watching a possession. We were invited to go on a two-hour, non-stop, high-octane adventure with the real Morbius, I bet there wasn't even a script for this movie. The real Morbius just showed up on set after taking control of Jared Leto's body and they started filming. And everything that happened from that point forward was authentic and genuine. And there's so much we can learn from it. I really only have one complaint about this movie and it's the fact that it's not long enough. This movie could have gone on for six hours and I'd still be screaming for Morb. I just want this movie to go on forever. I wish Morbius was a live stream that never stopped. Honestly, this just feels so good to finally correct my mistake with my initial assessment of Morbius. And I do want to again apologize to all the mighty Morbin Power Rangers out there that saw, what, saw this film for what it was. 
and I was just blind to it at the time, but no longer. I am happy to finally get all this out there. And in the words of the great Dr. Michael Morbius, a morb will do what a morb does. Autobots, roll out. God, I still can't stop thinking about the final fight in this movie. The climactic showdown between Dr. Michael Morbius and the villain. It is perhaps one of the most beautiful action sequences ever captured in the cinema. It is a flying vampire fight between two morbs. And the bad guy says, It's time to eat your vegetables, Michael. And I swear to God, without missing a beat, Morbius says to the guy, he says... Vegetables aren't on the menu tonight, bub. Tonight, it's freedom and blood. Right before delivering an axe kick super crane power punch right to the bad guy, killing him instantly. And then he becomes a bat and flies away. It's just a delight. Now, I do want to go into a little bit more detail on something outside of the film here. I think it is absolutely fucking wild that a movie has been carried by memes this hard. The movie seems to have turned a profit, at least off its in initial production budget. I don't know if it actually made money considering marketing, but the fact that it's able to generate something even close to positive revenue blows me away, because this movie is absolute dog shit, and the only reason why people saw it was to make fun of it. For the first week or so, Every theater was completely empty, mine included. No one cared about this movie until the memes arrived, and they were some high quality dank shit posts for sure. So it got people at least interested enough to go pay a couple of bucks to sit in an empty theater to watch it, just to see how bad it was. And it's a pretty boringly bad movie, it's not like an entertainingly fun bad one, it's just a pretty stale shit show. And I think that's why the memes slapped so hard, they were just hitting different because this movie is so bad. It's like cheering on a train wreck, it's like you, you know, you make a joke out of it, but it's still a terrible, terrible thing that you're witnessing. That's what it's like for Morbius. And with so many memes coming out around it, like the audience score being 2,000% and all of that, and it's made $352 trillion, all of it contributed to getting people at least somewhat interested in being a part of the joke. So somehow, memes were able to carry this colossal flop into a position where it almost made a little bit of money, which is both amazing and sad at the same time. But I think the best thing that can come from this is a Morbius sequel. Because if they're just looking at pure numbers, yeah, it didn't do great by superhero standards, but it still made like $150 million, which was more than they spent on production. Of course, again, doesn't account for marketing, but still. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. That's not awful. That might be enough for a sequel, and God damn it, I think it's what this world deserves. I would love to see a Morbius too. And this time... I hope it's six times as long as the first one. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit today because the Morbius memes are still popping. They're still extremely popular memes, which is blowing my mind because the movie's already been out of theaters for like three weeks, it seems. So the memes are still persisting, and I'm very curious to see how much longer those go before it gets drawn out and tiresome. But I guess we're not at that point yet. That's about it. See ya.